Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first daily live show on Facebook on photography, facebook.com slash photo joseph every weekday at 930. Welcome, welcome. For those of you watching live, as always, please comment, please uh, say something, ask something, throw something out in the comments. Love to hear that live. And uh, otherwise, just welcome to the show and welcome to Monday. Hey, so first off, I'm honestly, I'm not turning this show into an unboxing show. That's not what this is all about. It just happens to be that over the last few days, several things have come in kind of at once. And it's it's been, well, it's just had all these things that I need to open and need to put into use. And so that's just the way it's been. Honestly, it's not what this show is turning into. Today's unboxing is this thing called the Epifan uh, video of uh, Xtreme X, we'll get to the right name, X, you know, you think you put the Webcaster X1, there you go. They do have the right name on there. Um, and this is not particularly a photography product. I realize this is obviously a photography show, photography slash video show, but it is a streaming photography slash video show, and this is a streaming product. And this is really important, I think, to how this is coming together. And so I wanted to share this with you and share the whole evolution of this. So first of all, uh, let's talk about this whole thing of streaming online, streaming to Facebook, streaming to YouTube, streaming to wherever you're streaming. It turns out it's hard. <laughs> it really is. You know, it's amazing today that we can take our phone and go into Facebook and go Facebook Live, boom, and you hey, and you're live. And that's really cool. But as you've undoubtedly seen, the quality is utter crap when you're doing that. It is really, really res down. Um, obviously, if you're doing it from your phone and handheld, you got that whole problem with it and so on. So to produce a show like I do, this show right here, there's a lot more involved than just an iPhone and pushing go live. And I will, I promise, I will one day soon do a complete top to bottom tour of what goes into this because I know a lot of people are asking about that. I get those questions quite a bit. So I will go into that. But one of the I, I got through the whole switching thing. Everything that you're seeing here with the sound and the switching between sources, all of that is nailed. It is rock solid. It is beautiful. But the one thing I've continued to have problems with from day one is the actual getting the signal from here to you part, the whole live broadcast part. That turns out to be remarkably harder than you would imagine it would be. So what does it take? Well, I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried software streaming through services, through apps like Wirecast, which I'll probably rant on them another time. Um, I have tried hardware streaming through a video pro, which is actually what's being streamed right now. I've done an entire video about the video and configuring it and how I finally figured out how to configure it properly. And it is for the most part, very good. It does still have issues. It does still occasionally hiccup. And you know, I get that nothing's ever gonna be perfect fine, but it does occasionally have problems that were, um, that are annoying. And frankly, the video is a product that is, it's a thousand dollar hardware streaming device that is designed to stream to pretty much any service you want to. It has a bunch of presets for things like Facebook, YouTube, and so on. And then it has, um, RTMP streaming configuration, which you can go and put in the code, which basically means you can stream to anywhere that is a streaming service, which is awesome. That's great. But because of that, it means that it is trying to be one product for everything which I totally get and respect. And it has a lot of other features in there. Like I can connect it using the data on my phone. I can do a live broadcast using that hardware while remote, yada, yada. It's pretty cool, but it's not perfect. I've tried the Wirecast thing, which again, I said, I'll, I'll probably do a rant on them another day, but they have been problematic at the least. It, it, there have been periods where it has been flawless and then periods where it completely blows up in your face. And so not been happy with that. So in the process of trying to figure out, constantly trying to figure out what's better, I came across this thing, which is brand new. This just started shipping. I think I found them maybe two months ago when they were talking about on their website that they were gonna be releasing it. The company is called Epifan. I use, it's like the word epiphany, but without the Y. Um, I have a couple of their other products. I have converters from them. So uh, what do I have? It's a USB firework. Uh, HDMI to USB, I think, converter? I don't remember. Anyway, or SDI, whatever. I've got a converter, a couple converters for them, and they're rock solid. They cost more than converters from other manufacturers, but the ones from these guys are flawless. They work. And because I know that the converters have been so incredibly reliable for me, when I saw that they were doing this, I thought, well, this is interesting. So this is a streaming box. And what's really, what I really like about it 
is this is two different versions of the same thing. One of these is dedicated to Facebook Live and one of these is dedicated to YouTube. And I think the fact that it is a single piece of hardware with one destination in mind allows them to focus, I'm hoping, now at this point it's all speculation, but I'm hoping that allows them to focus on making the hardware flawless for that service. If any compromises needed to be made because, oh, it can do this on that service but not on the other, they can ignore that. So it's dedicated hardware, dedicated to the specific service, uh, the Facebook one, apparently, and I haven't hooked this up yet, um, but apparently has a really cool feature where the comments feed, which I would normally, like I'm doing right now, I have to watch my Facebook live feed on Facebook, make sure that's muted and see the comments there, which can be unreliable. Um, this apparently, through the HDMI out, will just put comments on a screen. I'm really kind of excited to see that. And then YouTube is just, just the YouTube. I don't know if there's anything specific to the comments, but anyway, the boxes, are relatively speaking very affordable. They're only 300 bucks each and most people will only need one of them. So you'd buy your one for whichever service you're doing. And assuming, again, speculation at this point, assuming that it's as plug and play as it should be, assuming that it works as well as it can because Epifan makes awesome hardware, they're able to dedicate this box to one thing. I'm hoping this is a really easy plug and play totally reliable, rock solid product. And if it really is all that, and it's only 300 bucks, if you are doing any kind of live streaming, run, don't walk. I mean, seriously, this is this has got to be the way to go. So with that said, um, let's take a look. Let's see what's in the box. So I'm going to open up the Facebook Live one because that's the one that I am going to use first. So by tomorrow, the intention is that this will be broadcasting this show. So tomorrow's show should be broadcast with this. I will use the YouTube one for my photoapps.expert streaming because I am now streaming that via YouTube live and then embedding that onto photoapps.expert slash live. That so far has been more reliable than what I was doing in the past. So let's see what we got. Quick start guide, sticker, fabulous, love stickers. Got a Pelican box of a cover of stickers. And here's the gadget. So here it is, nice aluminum construction. Nice and simple, very clean. Obviously, you got a, a some kind of LCD readout in the front. So the back, you've got your power, LAN. So you want to plug in your your Ethernet. I'm assuming this doesn't even have Wi-Fi, which is good because you don't want to be streaming over Wi-Fi. You want to have a good solid connection, optical connection. That's curious. Wonder what that's for. Reset button, HDMI in. So that's where the stream will come from. So my my uh, ATEM switcher has program out, has a whole bunch of programs out. So I will plug one of them into this, which actually, by the way, I could stream to both services simultaneously. And I will do that. I'll, I'll get to that as well, because I have done that in the past. My switcher has multiple outputs. And so I can plug one output into the YouTube one, one into the Facebook one and stream to both services simultaneously, if you got to them. Audio port uh, doesn't say input or output. I'm assuming that's going to be input. And then there's HDMI out, which uh, I know does the comments that we were talking about earlier. And then a power port. So this isn't portable. This isn't meant to be used on the road. It requires its own AC power supply. And the HDMI in and the audio input, what that means is that you could use this with just a camera. You don't have to have all the switching stuff, right? So if you've got your, your Lumix camera, your Canon camera, your video camera, whatever, if you've got HDMI out, and pretty much all of them do, you can plug that HDMI connection into here and one button, I don't know, we'll see how it works, go live from here. There's USB ports on the side too. I have no idea what those are for. And a micro SD slot, which I'm presuming is to record the show, which is great because you want to record your local show as well. One thing that we'll have to see, first of all, I'm assuming that that's what that's for, we'll find out, is does it record it as it comes in or does it record it as it goes out? The difference there is, is it recording the stream that comes in. So if you're coming in off of a camera, you're probably at 1080p. Um, or is it what's pushing out, which would be more compressed and in the case of Facebook, smaller because Facebook requires a 720p stream. So that'll be interesting to find out. The video records what goes out. And I get that, right? It's, it's hardware that is in real time, which is phenomenal, in real time encoding your video stream to H.264, 1080p at three megabit or whatever the setting is. That file that video stream that it's recording is what's being re captured to the internal SD card. I'm assuming the same thing's going to happen here, but if it doesn't do that, if it actually captures what comes off of the camera pre encoding, that would be really nice because then you'd have a higher quality stream for use later. Like here, when I do this show, I am 
broadcasting to you via the video to 720p because that's what Facebook requires. That it doesn't have 1080p. I'm sure it will one day, but right now that's all you get is 720p. But I simultaneously capture the program for uploading to YouTube. But because the video only captures at 720p, I have to use another box to capture it at full 1080p. And honestly, at some point, I'm going to push this show to 4K. It may not be live in 4K, but I will be capturing it in 4K. So anyway, so there's that. So I'm assuming that's what the microSD is for, is for capturing. And we'll find out later wh whether it does, uh, which one it does. No idea what the USB ports are for, but it's got one of them that's USB 3. So huh, curious, we'll find out. Um, and then, you know, let's just take a look at the other box and see if there's any notable difference in the hardware between the Facebook version and the YouTube version. Oh, well, it's, oh. Oh, there's a significant difference. Okay, this is a surprise to me. This one's got antennas. Wow. Okay, I have, I have, I just, that was not on the illustration. So I should preface this by telling I didn't buy these. Sorry, I should have uh, said this in the beginning. I reached out to these guys two months ago when I very first saw it on their website. I said, hey, this is what I'm doing. I would, these are the problems I've had with other solutions. I would love to test out your stuff. And they said, we'll ship it to you as soon as they're shipping. And I've been keeping in touch with them. They shipped this out to me. I'm expecting to have to return these because, you know, people don't give this kind of hardware away. Um, but I have not purchased it. I am, however, going to give you, tell you exactly what I think of it. If it sucks, I will tell you that. So don't worry about that. Um, I got no allegiances to this company. I just like what I've bought from them before. So these antennas were not on the original illustrations that I saw, so I have absolutely no idea what they're for. So that's cool. Uh, that'd be interesting. Got the LAN input, HDMI in and out. It uh, basically, yeah, it's exactly the same. Oh, I see, look, see these little bumps right there? Ha, those little bumps are for these antennas. Wow. Okay, well, now I'm really curious to see what the heck this thing is for. Excellent. All right, what else is in the box? I'm sure power supply. Yeah, you, uh, Ethernet, power supply. And hey, look at that. HDMI cable. Thank you, guys. Always frustrates me when companies skimp out on the cables that they send you. Super. So that's that. Um, let's here take a quick look at the web page. Uh, where is it? Here we go. So this is their web page, Epiphan, E-P-I-P-H-A-N. Like I said, Epiphany without the Y, Epiphan Video. Um, Epifan.com is the website. So here is the Webcaster X1 for YouTube and on the right, the Webcaster X1 for um, Facebook. Same same hardware. See, there's no antennas. No antennas. Look at that. I am, I'm dying to find out what the heck the antennas are for. Look at that. On this whole thing, no antennas. <laughs> oh, this is going to be curious. All right. Um, I guess that's it. $299.95. So 300 bucks. These are not yet available on B&H. So if you want to buy it, you got to go direct. And I do not know if... These are, they should be shipping to the public right now because they did tell me they were going to send it to me when they were shipping, but I could be wrong on that. Um, these may be early units for me, but they came all shrink wrap ready to go. So it looks completely ready to me. All right. That is that. If any questions about what you've seen so far, uh, I see quite a few people watching live. That's awesome. Thank you. And welcome. Of course, throw out your comments, throw out your questions. I'd love to hear from you live. And if you're watching this on YouTube afterwards, then obviously post the questions there and I will get to them. Um, I will be, as soon as this is actually in place, which as I said, hopefully will be tomorrow, I will remind you at the beginning of the show that we're streaming differently. And I am relying on you guys, the audience, to tell me if it looks any different. Because I don't see what you see. Or you have to remember, I'm capturing a local stream that is completely perfect quality. So if there's any hiccups in the video, in the audio, I want to hear about it. Please let me know what you're saying or if it looks better or worse than what you've seen in the past. You've been watching this show for a while. If it changes for the better or for the worse, please let me know. And I will remind you every day that we are streaming with new hardware and I want to know how it works, how it's looking on your end. Um, that's that. Last thing I'm going to leave you with, completely off topic. If you have not yet seen the H&M commercial by Wes Anderson for Christmas. You got to see it. This is not, you hesitate to call it a commercial. It is a short film. It is beautiful. It's fabulous. It is, I'm not going to play it here because I think I would get yanked off YouTube if I did. Um, it is uh, you know, Wes Anderson's short film it, with um, uh, Andrew Brody in it. And it is just, just beautiful. So oh, I think it's going to start playing it. I better unplug that. It is amazing. Watch it. I'm going to put a link to it on the YouTube thing. I'll put a link here, there, wherever. Um, just go see it. It's beautiful. Okay. That's that. I think that's everything I wanted to say. And yeah, we're out of here. Take care, you guys. Um, I see no questions coming in. So actually, you know what? I'm going to hit the refresh and make sure because this is the problem with streaming live like this. You don't really know 
Yep, no questions. Okay. All right, folks, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, don't forget, also, I am going to be at B&H next Wednesday talking about wireless flash photography. I did a couple of shots last uh, over the weekend that I'm going to be kind of releasing over the week to talk about a little bit of a teaser of what we're going to be doing with that. So wireless flash photography at B&H in New York on December 14th. I'll put a link to that somewhere here. So you can go register for that if you're in the area. And, uh, and that's it. Um, cool. Thanks a lot for your time, folks. We'll see y'all next time. See you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.